Hello all and welcome to today's video. My name is John McFall and I want to welcome you to the McFall RI channel. On this channel I teach you how to make $25 to $30 an hour doing food delivery and I also teach you how to make semi-passive income. This is what I do and this is what I teach and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to grow your followers, how to build your network on your podcast. I did a video on how to start podcasting last week, and this week I want to tell you how to get followers and subscribers to your podcast. Before we get into the topic, I do want to remind you that if you are interested in creating your own website, one of the best ones that you can use to get your domain and start going is Bluehost. They charge only three to five dollars a month when you're first starting to get your own domain. Also want to talk to you about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a great tool to use if you are starting or you have a YouTube channel to help grow your likes your views, and your subscribers. It's a tool that I've used since the start of this YouTube channel and others. I'm going to put a video up real quick so you guys can take a quick look at it. Whether you're looking to improve an existing YouTube channel or you're starting out fresh, TubeBuddy can help. This Google Chrome extension is a safe, convenient way to grow your following. SEO tools help you choose keywords to maximize visibility, while analytics give you precise insights into your channel's progress. You can edit thumbnails and descriptions en masse, or post videos to your Facebook without having to leave the site. It can even audit your content to help prevent devastating demonetization. You can try TubeBuddy for free, but some features require a monthly subscription. Click the link below to learn more. I do want to say that if you do get a paid version of TubeBuddy and you use the link in my description to grab it, I do get a small commission. TubeBuddy is great though because you can start working on it for absolutely free and you can use the free version for as long as you want. However, if you go with the paid versions, they give you more and better tools to get people to come to your videos. Also, head down into my description and go grab the link for Bluehost to get your domain started so that you can get yourself online with your semi-passive income business. And with that, let's get into the topic. Podcasting is just like any other form of getting yourself out there, whether it be a, a blog I've talked about, whether it be a YouTube channel like I've talked about, whether it be on social media, podcasting is very much the same as far as growing your uh, network online. There are certain things that you must do to get people to come to your podcast. You cannot just throw videos out. I talked about Buzzsprout in, in the video when I talked about doing your um, um, podcast and getting it out there into the internet. Buzzsprout is really great because it'll throw it on all kinds of platforms and you will get some organic traffic from the different platforms that it's on. But to really get your podcast in front of your niche market, you have got to take the time to promote it to the people that you want to get it in front of. You cannot just let it sit there dormant and, and expect to grow your following quickly. So you've got to do something about it. The first thing I want to tell you about doing your podcast and, and, and being good and getting people to listen to it, you have got to produce content on a consistent basis if you are expecting people to come to your podcast on a let's say weekly basis, if you put your podcast out weekly, if you want to get people to stick, if you want them to come to your podcast every week, you have got to be consistent about putting your content out. Decide how often that is going to be up front. A minimum should be one podcast a week. If you really want to grow up more quickly, then you have got to post content more frequently. If you want to grow up quickly, I would suggest doing two or three podcasts a week to, to get more of your content out there for people to listen to.
The next thing that you need to do is you need to find out where the people are that you want to get your, your podcast in front of. I have talked about in a couple of videos in my semi-passive income list, go check them out, but I've talked about the fact that you have got to decide who your niche market is going to be. And basically who your niche market is, is it is the people that are going to want to listen to the content that you're putting out. And in turn, those people are going to turn into the people that are going to buy your products or services. So you've really got to take a look at who those people are going to be. And you've got to really hone in on who those people are so that you can figure out the best place to go network to them whether it be on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok or where, wherever they hang out. If it's going to be people like millennials, you're going to find a lot of the younger crowds on places like TikTok and you're going to find them on Instagram and you're going to find them on uh, Snapchat and things like that. If you're looking at, let's say, you know, middle-aged women with kids, you're going to want to really focus on Facebook. Twitter is a good place to go to if you're, if you're looking for older people because Twitter is very popular with them. But you've really got to research your, your market and find out where to find them at so that you can get your podcast in front of them. A good way to do it is, is simply go on to Google and type in, let's say, 40 to 50 year old women and where they hang out on social media and hit enter and it'll start popping up different places that you can find them so that you can go get them figure out who your niche is and figure out where they hang out and this is the best way that you can go about finding out where to go to market your podcast Another thing that you can do is you can use hashtags in your content. When you're on social media, you can use hashtags in places like Twitter and Instagram. This will put your, your post in front of people. And again, this is going to put it in front of your niche market if you use the right hashtags. Hashtags are very important when it comes to Instagram or Twitter. And you can use these tools as a means to get your content in front of people that's going to draw them to your podcast. So do some research on hashtags. And if you're not sure how to do hashtag research, again, go to Google and type in hashtag research. There's a lot of resources out out there for you to figure out how to do it and find those keywords those hashtags that are going to be prevalent to the group of people that you are trying to get your content in front of and this will really help you on platforms like Instagram or Twitter to be able to get you in front of the people that you want to have see your content and eventually go to your podcast Another great way that you can build your network for your podcast is go on to Facebook if your niche is there and start a Facebook group and start inviting people to come to your group and promote your podcast in that group. This is something that's going to take you a little bit of time and quite a bit of effort into getting those people into your group so you can get in front of them. But if you do this and you build a good following in your um Facebook group, you can actually get a lot of people to come to your podcast and you can actually interact with them in that group so you know what they want to talk about and they know you know what they want to hear so you can really cater your podcast content to your specific group of people if you go with this and if you use Facebook groups to do it. The final recommendation I have to you, and this is tried and tested over a couple of decades, and this is for you to build an email list. Building an email list is a great tool that you can use to promote your podcast because once you have those email addresses, you can use that to send out emails when your podcasts are coming out so that you can talk to the people and tell the people what's coming out and get them to come to your podcast this way. 
A great tool that you can use for building your email list is MailChimp. That's the one that I use on my YouTube channel. MailChimp is a great place that you can send people to to start building your email list. So think about creating an email list. And, and one thing I want to say about emails compared to the other things like social media is if you get an email address for somebody because they sign up to receive whatever it is that you're sending them, that is yours. If you are on one of the social media platforms or any of the social media platforms, you could run into a problem on them and they could make it go away in a heartbeat if you do something that they feel that you should have your account shut down for. If you have an email address, you don't have to worry about it because you have the documentation, you have the information to be able to get in front of the people that you want to get into, no matter what happens on any of the platforms that you are trying to promote your podcast. So an email list is a really good thing to start with. And even if you do the other things that I've talked about in this uh, video, an email list is really important to start building once you get onto your social media platform. Creating a podcast is a really good way to get your voice out. However, if you do not promote it the right way, there's not going to be anybody coming to listen to your podcast. So make sure that you look into marketing your podcast and how you need to get it in front of the people so that you can be successful at bringing people to it and building up your network to turn them into clients. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I love doing podcasts. I, I had one before and I'm probably going to do it it again at some point in the future because I really enjoy this way of getting my voice out there in front of people. You can do it too. If you put together the right tools in place to create it and then you also put in the great tools to draw people to it, you could be successful at building up your network on your podcast so that you can build your listenership and then eventually get clients out of it. So with that, I'm going to remind you, head down into my description, go grab that uh, link for TubeBuddy if you got a YouTube channel. Also grab that link for Bluehost if you are thinking about putting together a website. Bluehost is a great place to build your website from. So make sure you go check out the links in my description for those. Also would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I finally want to say I hope that you are out there getting the money that you and your family deserve. And with that, I want to say thanks.